We begin with breaking news this noon. Former sportscaster Don Tollefson stands before a Bucks County judge awaiting sentencing. He was convicted in January of scamming more than 200 people who donated to his charities. Good afternoon, I'm Erica Von Teel. Pat and Yuki are off this noon. Now the judge could hand down her sentence any minute now. Let's get right out to Eyewitness News reporter Matt Rivers. He joins us now from the Bucks County uh, Justice Center. This is in Doylestown. Matt? Erica, that sentencing hearing is ongoing right now. We did just step out of the courtroom here to talk to you. There have been several witnesses presented already today as Judge Ray Boylan will likely hand down a sentence by the end of today's proceedings. You'll remember it was back in January of this year that Tollefson was convicted of defrauding, as you mentioned, nearly 200 people out of over $340,000. He told them they were buying things like tickets to the Super Bowl and trips to see the Eagles play the Denver Broncos in Colorado, only he never produced those tickets. Many of the false trips were purchased through the Brad Fox Foundation, an organization set up after the death of police officer Brad Fox. Fox's parents are in the courtroom today, and although they did not speak, they joined many other victims who submitted impact statements to the court. To the court. Fox's parents said in part, quote, it's despicable to use the situation of a murdered police officer to further his drug habit. Others used the words like used words like vile to describe what he did. Now, Tollefson himself is expected to take uh, to speak to the court and to apologize to those people that he wronged. He has never denied the fact that these people did not receive their tickets, but he said that it was never his intent to defraud them. He said his he had just described himself as a bad businessman. We'll be here through the rest of the day to bring you the latest on how this sentencing goes down. We'll bring you the latest on both CBSPhilly.com and on our later newscasts. For now, we're live in Doylestown. Matt Rivers, CBS3 Eyewitness News. All right, Matt, thank you.